Okay, now um, a two mole sample of oxygen gas is confined to a five liter vessel at pressure eight atmospheric pressure. Find the mean square speed of the oxygen molecules under this condition. Okay, so what information we have? We have the number of mole. Okay, and then we have uh, oxygen gas. This is a uh, oxygen O2. Okay, O2 gas. It's a diatomic gas confined to um, a five liter vessel. So this is the volume. Volume. However, this um, liter is not SI unit. You need to change to meter cube for volume. Okay, must SI unit. Uh, and then uh, we have the pressure. Okay, pressure at atmospheric pressure. Also, atmospheric pressure is not SI unit. You need to change to Pascal. Pascal SI unit. Okay, and then find the mean square speed of the oxygen molecules under this condition. Okay, so the question asks for mean square speed. Uh, mean square speed is actually uh, this one. Mean square speed. Uh, okay, mean square speed. It is also actually, it is also equal to VRMS square. Uh, do, you, do you realize? Do you realize about this? It is actually the square of the square of VRMS or VRMS to the power of 2. Uh, how do we get this? Actually, it's actually from the definition of root mean square speed. Uh, actually, VRMS, okay, VRMS, oh, sorry. VRMS is actually uh, defined as root mean square speed. Uh, VR, root mean square speed is actually defined as root mean square speed. Uh, so let's say if we uh, square both sides, let's say we square both sides, let's see the magic happen if we square both sides. Uh, so the, the square root just gone. Uh, it becomes uh, V R M S. Sorry, V R M S square. Okay, and then this one, the square root gone become mean square speed. Uh, this is actually called mean square speed. Understand? Uh, so mean square speed is actually V R M S to the power of two. Okay, all right. Now we want to find mean square speed of these oxygen molecules. It's a molecule O2. Okay, so how to find the mean square speed? Uh, we can use the formula this one uh, PV equal to 1 over 3 nmv square, uh, VRMS square, or PV equal to 1 over 3 nm uh, mean square speed. Uh, so we use this formula. PV equal to 1 over 3 total molecules multiply mass of one molecule a mean square speed. Okay, uh, it also can be written as PV equal to 1 over 3 uh, nm a v RMS square. Okay, uh, so we want to find this. Okay, we want to find this. So how? Uh, we have the pressure, yes, uh, but we need to change to SI unit, the pressure first of all. Okay, change it to SI unit. Pressure is 8 atmospheric pressure. So uh, uh, 1 atmospheric pressure is, uh, uh, let's see, yeah? uh, let's check the constant, uh, list of constant yeah, in the exam. You must always use this list, the value in the list of constant. Don't use any other values, okay? One atmospheric pressure is 1.013 uh, exponent 5 Pascal. I use this one. Huh? So, uh, so one uh, atmospheric pressure is this amount. So we multiply by this. Okay. We multiply by uh, 1.013 exponent 5 uh, Pascal. Uh, change to Pascal. Understand? Multiply by this. Okay. So what do we get? Uh, what what is the pressure in Pascal? Okay, I got it is a uh, 
8.104.104 exponent 5 exponent 5 Pascal ah, we got it 8.014 exponent 5 Pascal okay uh, next we have the volume uh, volume also we need to change to SI unit this is 5 liter uh, we know that uh, we know that uh, one one liter is uh, equal to one dm cube. Okay, uh, one liter is uh, one dm cube. Okay, uh, so uh, five liter will be five dm cube. Uh, okay, five dm cube. So okay, uh, so that's c. Uh, that's c is actually exponent exponent negative 1 but you have power 3 here see power 3 so negative 1 power 3 you get negative 3 you got negative 3 understand so this is meter cube uh, okay now you have changed to SI unit already uh, in Pascal and meter cube see that you have change you have changed already to uh, Pascal and meter cube so that's good once you have uh, all in SI or in SI unit, uh, then only you can substitute. Okay, remember all must change to SI unit first before you substitute. Okay, uh, so let's substitute. Okay, but uh, wait, do we have? We want to find mean square speed. Uh, do we have the total molecules? No, we have the number of moles. Uh, okay, do we have the mass of one molecule? No, we don't have the mass of one molecule, but this is the oxygen gas. Oxygen gas, we know the molar mass. And the molar mass, oxygen molecules, the molar mass is actually, molar mass of oxygen molecules is actually 16 gram per mole. Ah, okay. This is helpful, okay. If we know the molar mass. Okay, first of all, we need to change to kilogram. We cannot use uh, uh, gram. Okay, we must change to SI unit. Okay, uh, oxygen is 16 gram per mole. That's the molar mass. Okay, let's change it. Molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram per mole. Okay, per mole. But we need to change to kilogram. So, 16... Um, Exponent negative, exponent negative 3, that's right, exponent negative 3, kilo, uh, we add a kilo, a kilo is, kilo is exponent 3, so we add exponent negative 3, okay, uh, uh, kilogram per mole, uh, so we already changed to SI unit, we already changed to SI unit, understand, already changed to SI unit, uh, okay, all in SI unit already. You must change from gram to kilogram. Okay, so we got this molar mass, but we want the mass of one molecule. Okay, do you know that uh, about this one? Okay, ah, this one, you see? This uh, Nm, total molecule multiplied mass of one molecule, is actually total mass of gas. Uh, it's actually total mass of gas. You see, mass of one molecule multiply the total molecules, you get the total mass of gas. Okay, let's write it down. Okay, so this part, this part here, it is actually uh, the total mass of gas. Uh, total mass of gas, uh, which is also, uh, this is the total molecules multiply mass of one molecule. Understand? It is this total mass is also equal to number of mole multiplied by mass of one mole. Ah, see that? The total mass is total molecule multiplied mass of one molecule or number of mole multiplied by mass of one mole. Ah, which is, uh, you see this one? Uh, mass of, uh, no, I mean total mass. Total mass is uh, the total molecules and multiply the mass of one molecule mass of one molecule multiply n you get the total mass or you also can use 
uh, uh, you know number of mole multiplied mass of one mole no number of uh, number of mole multiplied mass of one mole you also get the total mass uh, it's either the mass of one molecule multiplied by the total molecule you get the mass of the total mass of gas or you take the molar mass molar mass multiplied by the number of mole then you get total mass of gas ah uh, okay ah uh, so this is helpful so uh, I, actually this formula we can rewrite it as um pv equal to 1 over 3 the total mass of gas uh, and then uh, mean square speed ah uh, you understand uh -huh. so uh, how to find the total mass of gas total mass of gas we have the number of mole already you see that we have the number of mole two mole we also have the molar mass so we can uh, use the number of mole multiply the molar mass to get the total mass uh -huh. okay so let's do it let's find the total mass of gas the total mass of gas is actually number of mole multiplied by the mass of one mole by the molar mass uh, okay so number of mole is two mole Okay, 2 mole, so which is 2 mole multiplied by molar mass. Molar mass. Uh, this is molar mass in kilogram per mole. You must change to kilogram. Don't, uh, don't remain at gram. Uh. Must change to kilogram SI unit. Okay, so the total mass of gas is um, uh, we have 2 moles there. We have two moles. Uh, each mole has uh, this amount of kilogram. So multiply by the number of mole, you get a total mass of gas. So the total mass of gas, which is a uh, two mole of gas, uh, is the thirty-two uh, exponent negative three uh, kilogram. Ah, because we have two moles. 2 moles and uh, this one multiplied by 2 moles we get the total mass of gas uh, this total mass of gas okay we also got in SI unit kilogram okay so now we can substitute off uh, value to get the mean square speed uh, okay so let's substitute 8.104 exponent 5 pascal and volume is a uh, 5 exponent negative 3 uh, also meter cube SI unit and then uh, 1 over 3 the total mass of gas is 32 exponent 32 exponent negative 3 kilogram I run out of spaces I run out of spaces so I need to um, you know I need to uh, excuse me uh, one second yep ah so uh kilogram and then uh mean square speed uh, this is what we want to find okay so what is the answer of mean square speed let's find out let's find out okay i got the mean square speed is three point uh eight zero uh, three point eight zero uh three point eight zero uh exponent exponent five exponent five uh mean square speed uh what's the unit mean square speed it is a meter square per second square ah uh, because square because it is because it is a uh, meter per second yeah velocity is meter per second but you square it uh, that's why you get uh, this understand uh, so uh, that's the answer okay that's the answer is it correct uh, is the answer correct uh, okay okay I have verified my answer okay uh, this answer should be correct the answer given is wrong the answer given is wrong okay uh, this answer is correct why because I use another method to, to verify yeah? uh, I've I also can this is actually the first method okay 
Okay, this is actually a first method to do it. The second method is also you can uh, first of all you can find the temperature. You use PV equal to nRT. Okay, we already have the volume, the pressure. Okay, pressure, pressure, volume, and then the number of mole is two. Okay, the number of mole is uh, n equal to two. Uh, then we can find the temperature. Okay, the temperature here. After that, after we find the temperature, we can uh, use a formula VRMS equal to square root uh, 3RT over molar mass. Ah, yeah. This formula, VRMS is also 3KT over mass of one molecule, small m. Or you can also use VRMS equal to square root 3RT over molar mass. Ah. Since we have molar mass, uh, the molar mass is uh, 16 gram, 16 gram per mole, 16 gram per mole, yeah, or we change to kilogram per mole already, okay, uh, so we can use this formula, molar mass formula, yeah, to find the VRMS, uh, to find the VRMS, so uh, we can find the VRMS already, okay, so from here we get our VRMS value, so at last, at last, how to find the mean square speed? We know that the VRMS we get, the VRMS we get is actually uh, root mean square speed. Uh, root mean square speed. So, uh, VRMS square is actually the mean square speed. Uh, isn't it? I told you just now. I told you just now. Uh -huh. So, to find the mean square speed, yeah, which is our ultimate goal, mean square speed, to find our mean square speed, it is, just take this value, uh, just take this value, VRMS you get just now, you get just now, you square it, uh, you square it, uh, that you get, then here you surely get the same answer, 3.80, exponent 5 i tried just now i tried just now uh, meter square per second square i remember uh, this this unit uh, root the mean, mean square speed the mean square speed unit is meter square per second square uh, why because uh, just like the velocity uh, vrms vrms is velocity meter per second uh, you square it because you have the square here you see that you get a square here. Square it, square it. So the unit become meter square per second square for the mean square speed. Ah, so you get the same answer also. You, 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 you realize? You get the same answer also. So my answer is correct. Okay, the, my answer is correct. Both method. So uh, this answer given is wrong. Okay, answers given is wrong. So I verify already. Correct. So that's all for this question. You can use either uh, this formula. Okay, you can either use this formula to do it, yeah, uh, which is also uh, this formula, huh? yeah, uh, this Nm is actually the total mass of gas, okay, uh, so you can either use this formula or you use this formula, PV good and RT, and this one formula. Actually, this, uh, this formula is a combination between this and this. Uh, combine these two, you get this formula. Okay, so that's all for this question. Okay, see you. Bye.